the study of government financial aid for college students, it becomes necessary to estimate the percentage of full-time college students who earn a bachelor's degree in four years or less. Find the sample size needed to estimate that percentage. Use a .03 margin of error and use a confidence level of 99%. Complete parts A through C below. Okay, there's a formula way to do this. If you go in here and click on view an example, I'm, I've not done this yet. Yes, this is exactly what they do. So you can go through that on your own. And if you're one that likes to do things with formulas, you go for that. I'm going to show you, however, how to do this using StatCrunch. So when we open up StatCrunch, I'm going to go over here to Stat. We're talking about proportions. It's one sample. And we're going to look at the width sample size. Okay, so what are the required elements here? So we need to put the confidence level in, and it says a 99%, so let's put 0.99. The width, this is the part you gotta be careful about. So let's pull this down a little bit, and it says use a 0 0.03 margin of error. Well, what does that mean? That's 0 0.03 to the left and 0 0.03 to the right. So it's a, t it's a total width of 0 0.06. So it'd be nice if they had put margin of error, but they don't, so we have to make some adjustments. So put 0 0.06. We use our target population of 0.5 if we're given no prior estimate. So let's look at this again. It never mentions any using a prior estimate. If you use a prior estimate, that can and will um, decrease the sample size, which is nice because it costs money and time and effort to um, gain samples. So if you have a prior estimate, you definitely want to use it. We don't, so we're just going to leave it at 0.5 and then press compute. And I want to make sure you see that we're at sample size of 1844. So let's look at part B. Assume prior studies have shown that about 40% of full-time students earn bachelor's degrees in four years or less. So now we have a prior estimate. And so that's what that target proportion is. So I'm going to change that 0.5 to a 0.4. It automatically adjusts my width, so I'm going to go, go back to the width and put 0.06 again and press compute. And I get 1770. I noticed that my width decreased a little bit, so technically I would need 1,771 to get over that width. Um, I'm not that picky. StatCrunch generally, I mean, sorry, my stat lab will generally give you a, a tolerance of plus or minus one on these. Um, again, this is just a model anyway, so they can't be overly picky. So I hope that helps.